Hey guys, I'm running out of surfaces. I got so many projects going at once. All right now I'm going to test some capacitor based speed controls. Um, a friend of mine bought some of these Casablanca controls here and uh, said it wasn't slow enough for him. I assumed that they were 5, 10, 15 like all the Casablanca controls I've had. So we're going to test it and see if that's in fact the case. There's the FASCO control I've been using that's 5, 10, 15. There's a uh, commercial slider that's 8, 12, 20. And I've got all these new inbox controls that I picked up the other day. We're going to check them out and see what they are. So just so you guys can see what I'm talking about, here's a capacitance tester. Right now it's set to maximum of 20 microfarads. We'll bump it up if we get to any controls that don't read. And... Uh, Start with the FASCO. So these are already wired into a extension cord. I'm not going to unwire them. I'm just going to use that for testing. So I've got them wired into the uh, hot lead, which is the narrower blade of an outlet. The narrower blade is hot. The uh, <clears throat> wider blade. So if those are making good contact, and I'm not for sure that they are, then uh, then that should give us a reading. Let's find out. So hi is going to be open. Medium high, right around 15. Medium low, right around 10. And low, right around 5. Those values are a hair high, but should make a significant difference. Okay, so that's what we thought it was. Okay, let's next test. Uh, I'm just going to move that out of the way. That's one less thing on our already cluttered surface here. Next test is the slider. So we'll do the same thing. One lead in the narrow blade of the outlet. One lead in the narrow blade of the other end of the cord there. Let's see, that's making good contact. Okay, it is, because it's already on low. Low is 4, that's 8. Medium low. Right around 12. Medium high. Right around 20. And then high is open. Okay. Now, <clears throat> with very rare, with, well, actually, I guess without exception, all of the showroom brand controls I've ever tested. Casablanca, Homestead, Beverly Hills, Newtone, Fasco, they've all been 5, 10, 15s, every single one. This control here, I don't know what brand this is, I found this at a thrift store, and this one is a little bit different, and I'm wondering if it's different values or if it's just drifted with age, but I'll show you. So, put the leads in again. Where's the other end of this bugger? Okay, off. Okay, I don't think we're making good contact because, uh, there we go. High is open. Medium high. That, see, that could be 15. Medium low. That's awfully low for 10. And that's awfully high. So I, I don't know if this is supposed to be 5, 10, 15 and they've drifted or if it's actually supposed to be an 8. A 6, 8, 14. I have to take it apart and see what values are actually stamped on the capacitors. Or we can test some of these similar ones here and see what values they are. That might give us a clue too. Okay, so first up, let's try the Casablanca control here. Let me see if I've got some alligator clips in the toolbox because that'll make it a world easier to try to do it while I'm holding the, uh, the, the camera. Okay, I'll just, I'm going to set the camera down for just a second while I'm connecting that.
Okay, we got the leads clipped on there. What are we at right now? Open, apparently. 14, 8, 5. Interesting. And this one actually starts on low, which is cool. Low, 5, so that should give you the same low speed as any other control. 8 is a little slower. And then 14. I almost wonder if it's supposed to be a 5, 10, 15, and that one value is just way off. Regardless, that would give you slower speeds, if anything. So this control, you know, should, if you're trying to get slower speeds, that control should do it. Okay. So that's that one. Next up, let's try this craft bait control here. Let's see if I can get it out of the package one-handed. Nope, I'm going to set the phone down. Sorry. I hate packaging. I understand they're trying to prevent people from stealing stuff, but they make it almost impossible for anyone to use the stuff in the first place. So. I'm going to use a different alligator clip. Okay. Sorry, camera's upside down. I hope that doesn't mess up the video. Control's upside down too, which doesn't make it any better. So we're set to. Okay, let's start it off. Zero. High, open. Medium, high, 14. Medium, 8. Wow, I guess 6, 8, 14 is a thing. I've never come across that before, but I'm, I'm learning. 6 would be a little bit faster low speed. Again, this is the craft made control. That would be a little bit faster low speed. And then a little bit slower medium and medium high speed. Which is exactly the opposite of what I want. I want a faster um, medium, and, medium low and medium high speed and a slower low speed. But, oh well, they didn't listen to me, I guess, when I made this control. So let's disconnect it, and let's open one of the do it best controls. Once again, packaging. This is the bane of my existence. Okay. Put the leads on there. I bought this capacitor tester for uh, less than $15 on eBay. It's one of the best purchases I've made. It's very cheap in quality in terms of the way, you know, I wouldn't trust it to hold up to anything, but it's very accurate. High, open. Medium, high is 14 and a half again. Eight and a half again. Six. I gotta open one of these up. I'm gonna cut one of these open with my Dremel and see what those values are supposed to be because the halves are the ones that are funny. So I'm gonna assume since the two that look like this are the same, these other two are the same too. I'm not gonna bother opening or testing them. But you get the idea. So that's how you test the control. The lower the number, the slower the speed. And you go too slow, and um, it won't start, it won't spin at all. And uh, the other thing to think about is the more powerful your fan motor, the slower it's going to go on the lower speeds. So 
you know, a real cheap fan won't slow down that much, or a real, real efficient fan that doesn't draw much of current won't slow down that much. But, um, a fan that has a really powerful motor will slow down quite a bit. For example, you put a blender fan on one of these controls and it'll be, it'll inch along on low. Um, you put a silver line and, uh, goes a lot faster on the low speed or, or something like that. So, just for reference, the gold lines in here are on new tone, four speed controls. That is speed uh, two, medium high, and that's at 15 microfarads there, and that's what that's slowing that down to. So, hope this helped. Thanks for watching.